Hmm. Looking for a new phone. Uh. Oh my God. This guy's got a Samsung Galaxy S10 for only ten bucks. Let's call him up. Yeah. Hey. What's up? So you want to meet me? So you got a Galaxy S10 for ten bucks? That's like a sweet deal. Oh. Okay. You, you want to meet in a dark alley? Uh. Okay. Make sure I'm by myself. Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. Oh, okay, so I I'll meet you there in a minute. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from Magic Tech Review. Obviously, you shouldn't meet people in back alleys to buy phones, but um, what I really wanted to go over today is uh, when you buy a phone... Please, for the love of God, do not reset that phone as soon as you get it um, because you're going to be left with a phone that probably you're not going to be able to use. Um, so when you're buying a phone from somebody or even when you get a phone from somebody, uh, let them let them take off their um, iCloud account or their um, Google account. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's from a friend, family member or whatever, um, there's these things on phones nowadays. It's called uh, Google account lockout or Google verification or Gmail verification, or iPhone, iCloud lock. So, and both of those things will mess you up. Um, even if you bought it from somebody that you actually know, it's going to mess you up too because they might not remember their Gmail or what Gmail they had associated with the phone. Um, so basically, you just go inside the phone, and it's really simple. Um, you can even do it yourself on, on uh, Androids. You just go inside the phone, you go into settings, and then you go into account so you go inside and then you go actually into um accounts if i can find that it's a freaking phone accounts and you're going to find the accounts associated with that phone okay so you're going to go into accounts and then you're going to actually go into the google one so you're going to go to google see right there you're going to go to google and then you're actually going to take those off so that's what you want to do. You want to take all the Google accounts off the phone before you actually reset the phone, okay? So all you people out there that are freaking reset happy, do not reset the phone um, right away. Just don't do it. Stop, pause, chill. Don't do it, okay? Um, more, more than likely times you can just remove the Google account, remove the apps, and delete stuff off of there, and that's it. Now, if the person does it, when they hand you the phone, make sure you can insert your SIM card, make sure you can get to the home screen, and make sure that Gmail thing is not on there. Have them put the Gmail thing in there, um, you know what I'm saying, if it comes up, okay? Um, just don't want to see you guys getting scammed or whatever out of uh, hard-earned money off of phones um, that, you know, they seem legit. They're like, oh, well, you know, we can meet up at McDonald's, we can meet up at uh, IHOP or whatever, you know. All this stuff is bullshit. So just keep that in mind, guys, when you're when you're doing uh, these things, and want to keep you guys safe, want to keep you guys informed. Um, now, everybody that's selling the phones out there on Craigslist and offer up and all that stuff, they're not out to get you. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. Um, you know, and when it does happen, you're gonna learn your lesson very hard and very quick. Um, so. And if you are intoxicated or whatever, do not reset your phone either because you might not remember your Gmail, your password. So that is also a thing as well. Uh, with iPhones, it's a little bit harder to take off the iCloud account. You actually have to have the password for the iCloud account. Uh, so you might get stuck with an iPhone that just has an iCloud account that you can't get rid of. So you're going to be basically stuck with the apps that it has on there. You're not going to be able to download any more. Um, but I mean, I guess whatever, if they already have some apps that you like up there and whatever, you know, the case may be, you might've got it off somebody. They just didn't remember to remove their iCloud account. So as long as you have access to the pin or whatever, you're fine. But if you reset that iPhone and it has the iCloud account in it, forget it. It's pretty much done unless you know the number or whatever like that. And unless you can get in contact with that person, um, which they might've just sold the phone and just not even really cared anymore or whatever you know what i'm saying don't even check their phone or they might have used a temporary number just to sell the phone 
I don't know. I don't know what the case may be, but yes, yeah, that happens too sometimes. So guys, what did Magic tell you? Do not reset that phone as soon as you get it. Chill, relax, take a look around the phone. Um, take the Gmail accounts off, take all the Google accounts off, then reset the phone if you must. Okay? Well, this is John from Magic Tech Review. Hope you, hope you liked the video. Leave a like and comment, share, and all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching my video. If you like what you saw, please comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell one of your friends. If you want to do donate directly to my son, Little John, here's my Patreon account. It's in my link in description and also on my info and on my uh, channel art. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.